Alright. Yeah. Alright. Uh you know, we're being raised up, man. Why you think it says uh uh wisdom of uh, Psalm in the fifth chapter it says what? And the poor righteous man stood in great uh boldness upon uh, uh those uh who afflicted them and made no account of their labors, man. And great fear fell upon them, man. Alright? We're being raised up right in their kingdom, man, right in their face. You see, and it's like really they can do nothing to, uh, about it. You see? They just gotta take it how it is, man. Alright? And it says, And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah, so called Negroes, and all the tribes, alright? And they shall sell them to the Sabians, which the Sabians is uh Hamites, you know, they most most likely Kush, you know, them Kushites over there. Alright? Just uh it's gonna be the same thing, man. I always say, you know, Esau uh putting us in captivity was manifest destiny. You know, part one, but now manifest part, uh manifest destiny part two is about to come into uh place, man. All right, now the tables is going to turn. Okay, it says to a people far off, for the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shai has spoken. So you're gonna be just like we've been, you know, uh scattered, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You're gonna be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, just like our kids were sold on auction blocks. You know, sold to different plantation masters. Your kids are gonna be sold to all on auction blocks and different plantation matters, man. All right. You're going to get double, all right? Table's going to flip. Let me get Amos. It's not going to let me type it in on this, so i just get uh, Amos on past it, all right? Actually, I get a... Uh, I was going to get Isaiah, I mean, uh, Amos 9, but I just get Isaiah 14, all right? And it says, Isaiah 14 and 1, For the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, Shah, will have mercy upon on Jacob, and yet will choose Israel and set them in their own land. So we're going to go back to our land, all right? And we're going to also inhabit these different other lands, man, all right? And the, the strangers, which the strangers talking about the Israelite foreigners, shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, man. Alright, it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land, which we know what that possession is, man. Alright, Psalms, the uh, second chapter. Alright, because this is talking about the uh, other, uh, he, you know, the other nations. This is Psalms 2 and um, 8, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Alright. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. All right? So that's what it's going into. So going back, it says, all right, I'm going to read again. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, slaves, man. All right? And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right? All of them. You see? We're going to rule over you heathens, man. Okay? The earth is going to be uh, put back in its order. Okay? And there's going to be nothing you can do about it, man. All right? It's going to be like the movie Planet of the Apes, which I'm not calling us apes because we're not apes. All right? The Esau, you know, he 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 know what it is, man. All right? You heathens ain't going to have any power, man. Your uh, weapons, all that is going to be burnt up. It tells you that in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, I mean, 39th chapter. All right? Them weapons are going to be burnt up, and your weapons are going to be replaced with uh, farming tools, all right? Building supply, all right? Because you've been building up our kingdom, you see? Just like we built up this uh, uh this defiled kingdom you see right now, all right? This was built off of slaves, and it's going to be, ours is going to be built off of slaves. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of work uh, that's going to be needed to be done, man. We're going to have streets paved with gold, all right? It's going to take a lot. We're going to get, first, all this concrete, this cave this cave, because that's all this is, is a modern cave. All this is going to be raised up, man. All right, all the bodies, all the corpses that's left over from World War Three, that's going to have to be uh, dug up. Not dug up, but that's going to have to be buried, man. All right, and you at least going to be doing most of it, man. We're going to put hell on you Edomites, man. All right, you're going to get the worst of that thousand years, man. Okay? It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest, who rest? The Israelites. From thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bonds wherein thou was made to serve. Man, you know they ain't talking about the other nations. All right? 
Because they living it up, man. They've been living it up. They've been, you know, eating deliciously. We've been suffering. All right? So now it's their turn. Okay? This is going to be our rest. But for this to come, this place got to be destroyed. We in the midst of that. All right? So that's it. Call hello, Allah, Yahweh, by Hashem. Yahweh Shah. Shalom to the elect. To the few Aquaf that do listen, learn, believe. Shalom. Papa Kasha, Papa Po, a Papa Po, a Paha Ayapia, a Paha Ayapia. Shalom to the elect and to the few Aquaf, if you like this, that do listen, learn. Shalom. All right. Hawad, Haya, La Yahweh, Bashima, Shah.